Hello and welcome to episode 87 of Vokta Gaming. I'm your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here, back on Zelnaga Caverns, with some more MLG. First up, we have our Red Zerg. He is Evil Genius's Idra! And spawning in the south, we have our Blue Protoss. He is OGS MC! Oh yeah, how do you like that for an intro, fans? It is a good intro. I'm getting good at these intros. Anyway, we saw yesterday Boxer versus Lenok right here on Zelnaga Caverns. Well, today we are doing it Protoss style and Zerg style as well. So, if you watch this channel, which you obviously do because you're hearing my voice, you will know all about these two players. Idra gets featured regularly on these videos because he is pretty good. Um, and of course, MC, formerly the greatest Protoss in the world. Uh, now, not so much because he's got competition from guys like Naniwa, from guys like Huck, uh, both of whom, by the way, will be featured next week on this channel, so stick around for that. That's right, next week I'm bringing you Huck versus Nanoa, so ooh, get excited. That will be either next Wednesday or Thursday, depending how long these games go on for. So, we see Idra going pool first, which is pretty much his style. Um, it's still not the normal Korean style, which is to get the, uh, the hatchery at 14 and the spawning pool at 15. But never mind. It's Idra style, and it works for him. You know, uh, for all the flack that the guy gets about not winning tournaments and stuff, he's got a pretty impressive track record. He was one of the best, if not the best, foreigners in Brood War. And really, he's still pretty scary to come up against in StarCraft 2. He's maybe not the powerhouse he was, but I think that's less because he's fallen down, and more just that other people are reaching and surpassing his level. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's the bar he set as it were. So this probe getting a ton of scouting in, seeing just patrolling back and forth. What this is doing is seeing that there is no hatchery on the way and leaves before a queen can pop out so that is always a good idea. Now it should just sit here and essentially just watch this area. That is that is what you want your scouting probe to do. We have zergling speed coming now before the hatchery so I'm not too sure what Greg is up to right now. This isn't a style of Zerg play I see that often outside of Greg. MC, meanwhile, is going one gate into warp gate. We will see whether or not he soon drops a nexus. That seems unlikely, but you never know. The question is whether he will just continue to then drop down gates, go three gate, four gate, one gate robo. There's so many different ways Protoss can go, and Idra does finally drop that expansion hatchery. Very, very light. It's like 22, 23. Probe does escape the Zerglings. That's a little trick for those of you who don't know. Um, units that would normally block a worker's path, if you click on the minerals instead, they will pass straight through the worker. So uh, that is that is something that's often very handy to know. And he is just dropping gateways now. Yep, going up to three gates. So this is going to be pretty normal Protoss opening. We're not seeing anything funky out of MC just yet. Idra, meanwhile... His expansion is about to finish just after the five minute mark, in blizzard minutes that is. Um, because of course we run the game on the faster setting. And not on the uber slow setting. Because we're all pros here. Well, they are at MLG. Damn, that was an insane weekend. Really, if you guys are not watching MLG live, you need to get on that. It's totally free if you watch it live, so well worth doing. We have some Zerglings coming out now. From Idra. Idra, by the way, real name Greg Fields. In case you didn't know why I continually call him Greg, because I always forget to uh, to call him Idra. Now these Zerglings are doing a bit of damage here. Nice surround. Going to take down that Stalker. Could have got the Zealot as well, but decides to go home. Hmm, I'm wondering about that. That was very, very close. I think, personally, if he'd have stayed there, he might have killed that Zealot and then taken down the two sentries, or at least forced them to use up force fields. Or energy, so um, but it's always it's six or one, half a dozen the other. Right, we have an expansion going now from MC along with the forge. He's going pretty sentry heavy, so it looks like he wants to be defensive rather than aggressive. That's an easy way to tell, by the way. 
what your opponent is doing. If you see a ton of sentries, you know he's just going to want to sit there and maybe two base very early on. Just sit back and defend. If you start seeing a lot of stalkers, it's probably going to be a blink stalker aggression style thing. So that's something you can keep an eye on. What that means is you don't have to come into the base to know at least the the style of play he's coming at you with. The Zergling is going to take down these rocks. That opens up the third base here. Of course, the uh, the gold also protected by rocks. Still a gold here, of course. Uh, in GSL, we now no longer have gold minerals. That's been uh, that's been removed. So we have going down from Greg right now. We have an evolution chamber and an infestation pit, along with Burrow. Hmm. So we could be seeing burrowed infester harass. What that is, um, if you're unaware, is you burrow your infestors. They all come down to here, and then they just drop as many infested terrans into the mineral line as they can. The only problem with that is MC is totally sorted for that because he's got photon cannons to detect the burrowed infestors. So, mmm, that is a pretty hard counter to that. MC has Protoss Ground Weapons Level 1 going up and he has a Robo Facility going down as well. That spawns here. Gonna get an Observer. Good choice. Always get an Observer first. Know exactly what your opponent is doing as I yawn terribly. Uh, pathogen glands is on the way. That's the uh, starting energy for those infestors when they pop. Um, da -da 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 -da. He's also taking down the rocks at the goal base. That just makes sense. You have these Zerglings. You can't really do much with them right now, so you may as well use them to clear this destructible rocks, get them out of the way, so that you can expand later on. Uh, these Zerglings try to do some harass, but that is going to get shut down instantly. There are more than enough sentries and zealots there to defend this location. So, this game has settled down right now while Greg gets out some infestors. Okay, we have a warp prism on the way from MC. Um, not as unusual as it once would have been. Uh, and in fact, a mass of zerglings. Moving out there with just sentries and zealots, not too big a fan of that. If they got caught and surrounded, they would all die. Especially now, with these infestors out with fungal. Fungal growth there, obviously locking units into place. And now the third expansion is going down for Idra as he moves ahead in supply. He's pushing out with these. We have immortals on the way, not too useful in this situation. I mean, they are useful, don't get me wrong, immortals are fantastic, but they are far better as a counter to roaches than things like Confessors. Confessors can fungal them and then just get the hell out of there, really. We have two more gateways going now for MC, and we have a Roach Warrant on the way from Idra. And here he comes in with a poke. Oh, nice force fields. Cut that off. But, of course, doesn't catch any units. And now here we come with the Burrowed Infestors. Right under those force fields, and Infested Terrans going down everywhere. Loses all three of those Infestors, though. But so many Infested Terrans spawning, and their DPS is so high. The Immortal, however, does tank most of that damage, so not as much damage done as could have been done. And everything goes down there. Everything now in the main base, though, of MC. Workers are running away. Idra is trying to defend. Meanwhile, though, the Warp Prism has brought these units up here. So we have Sentry and Zealots in the main base of Idra. So right now, we have two main base battles going on. MC, though, is shutting this down slowly but surely. Loses an assimilator and a couple of workers, but that is not a great deal to lose. Meanwhile, MC is losing his sentries here. Spinecrawl is trying to go down, but it's too late. Uh, these zealots are going to be stopped here, though. But we do have more here. Finally, the main base of MC, as we see, is clear. And MC continues to warp units in, and right now he has the supply advantage. This could be a really, really nice attack timing. Either come in and take down the third or just go for broke. I know um, I don't always, I'm not always a big fan of just going for broke, trying to kill your opponent. I'd much prefer to see him shut down the bases and expand himself. But this could just be such a strong timing right now. Force fielding the ramps and the circlings can't get out. The infestors can't get out. And Idra GG's MC goes 1-0 up at MLG in this, our last game of the week. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is this week done with. Um, 
pretty good play from MC. Uh, Idris' strategy never really got going. Uh, MC just hard countered it all the way. He was just prepared for everything. And that is something MC can do. That's that's how good of a player he is. That's not a knock on Idra at all. He is a very good player. One of my favourite players to watch. Um, okay, so that's it. That's it for this week. Don't forget to check us out at scforum.eu. And don't forget to check this channel on Tuesday. Where I'll be back with Game 2 of OGSMC vs EG Idra. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.